Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampires Let's Play. So in this part, like I said in the last, we are planning on going over to Vlad's for dinner or inviting him here, one or the other. Um, but I definitely want him to see that she is pregnant and also kind of introduce Jory to him because he is kind of like our adopted father at this point, like our vampire father. So I kind of want to um, obviously show off our wife and things like that. And Emilio is just kind of just chilling in this part. We focused on him quite a bit in the last few parts, so today we are gonna focus on the ladies. Also, Persephone is in her third trimester, I think. Oh, she's starting to read uh, fishing. But yes, I think she is in her third trimester. She, oh no, it's not started yet. She's still in her second. Um, so she's not gonna give birth in this part, luckily, because I kind of have other parts, uh, other plans for this part. Um, as you can see, I did buy a fishing book so that she can actually catch fish um, better and can make more plasma packs and things of that nature. Uh, you're almost a master vampire. Emilio isn't too far off Grandmaster. When he does reach that, we are gonna try and slay Jacob. Uh, is his name? No, his name's not Jacob. What's his name? Caleb. Um, we will probably try to slay him um, with the help of Anna, the vampire hunter, which I'm very excited for. And we're just gonna... Yeah, this job... This part is pretty much story based. A lot of you were saying it's cool to focus on the vampire side of things, but I also like when you focus on just the story, which we are doing in this part. Um, we are definitely going to introduce our wife into our adoptive father, I guess you could say. She's like, oh yeah, by the way, uh, I'm pregnant. Oh, he's insulting her. Seriously, you're insulting your big sister when she's pregnant. That is not the thing to do, especially when she could like beat you up up in an instant because you know what even though they're both like level 15 and he might be a higher vampire rank than she is i still feel like she has like all the mental um like aspects like she's so clever and stuff like that so she could definitely outwit emilio for sure um also i do need to add in the two people that i want her to change um because obviously i do want her to get her level up of her lifetime thing she's currently on level two out of four so once she's done the two more which i already have two sims picked out they are two sims that one of you guys made they're really really cool and i definitely want to turn them so that will be happening as well also the last part got like such a good response um all of you loved the vampire fight club and like a lot of you were saying like it made you want to get vampires like if you don't have this game pack already which i highly suggest you do if you do like the look of the vampires they are so much fun to play with i mean this has been a lot of parts now and i'm still not bored of them i still think they're epic oh it wasn't the last part it was the part before that the vampire fight club but i wasn't there when it went live so i couldn't like make a video about it but yeah loads of you absolutely loved it and i think it won a lot of you over like i said on getting the game pack which is awesome because i always love it when you guys are like oh you're the reason why i play sims 4 or you're the reason i got this pack it feels pretty damn awesome that you guys enjoyed my gameplay as much as to go out there and buy it yourselves obviously i don't get cut from that <laughs> um i'm just i'm literally make my videos because i love playing the sims and i love storytelling but it's quite cool to know that i've kind of inspired you guys to get out there and make your own stories and things like that that's just an awesome thing to be able to say that i've done i think we might just go around to vlad's now i mean it's kind of like lunchtime so we might go um i don't know make some salad or something i don't know but we'll go we'll go visit him i think so let's go to do um 
we are going to visit Vladulus or whatever he's called. And we are going to bring along, we're not going to bring along Emilio. Oh, Lilith's in her uh, nasty form. But we're going to bring along Jory and head on over there. So let's go. Why not? I'm excited. I'm excited to introduce Vlad properly to Jory. Um, tell her, tell him that we got married. Was he invited to the wedding? I can't remember if he was or not. Don't think he was, which is weird. Um, Jory, we'll see you there. Okay, good. So we are going to go and knock on his door. You can go up here as well. Um... Okay, so she hasn't drank deeply for one day. She still has like four more days to go, which is going to be tough, but she's definitely going to make those plasma packs. Okay, he's always playing the organ when uh, we arrive. I don't know where Jory's going. Where are you off to? Um, right, let's go. Uh, let's go share our big news with him. I mean, we are pregnant. I'm fairly sure he can see that we're pregnant. We have a big belly going on. Oi, share your big news with him. We can also request vampiric training, which we aren't going to do just yet. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Uh, oh, minus. Ouch. But we are going to, like, friendly introduce ourselves. Um, we're also going to compliment his house and um, invite him to feel the baby and then Jory is going to kind of like introduce herself. I don't know why they dislike each other apparently. It's a bit weird. Maybe it's because she didn't like vampires at first and then when they kind of got introduced the first time around she was a bit like no. Um, but let's give him a friendly introduction. There we go. We introduced ourselves to him. Hopefully, he'll start to like us. Oh, okay, yeah, because obviously she has that reward trait. That means anyone becomes her friend as soon as she introduces herself. That's quite cool, actually. We're going to compliment his house and um, discuss world peace. He won't like that. That's why they didn't get along, because I think he's an evil sim and she's obviously a good sim. Or he's mean and she's good. I did change her trait back to good, by the way. So I think that's why they didn't get on about uh, last time. That definitely makes sense. He's not going to enjoy this. Yeah, that was kind of awkward. Nope, no, he's getting angry. He's angry at it. Okay, he is evil. I got it right. He is an evil one. Um... Let's discuss plasma flavors. Now that we're a vampire, we can get in on this vampire chat, you know? Oh, he's singing. Oh, that was a nice song, Vlad. Let's make a vampire pun. Let's try and get on his good side. Should we request vampiric training? We might actually get it from Vlad. Like, really, really good. Um, he's obviously much higher than her. Have you ever read the vampire newspaper? It's It has great circulation. Love it. Love it. Whoever on the Sims team came up with all these vampire puns, I freaking love you. If someone happens to be watching this, if a guru is watching this, or anyone who works on the Sims, I freaking love the person who made all these puns. Can you just give them a hug from me, please? And just tell them that the, the English Slimmer appreciates them very much. <laughs> oh, she's not happy. She, she failed. Come on. Come on, Jory. You got this. You got this, girl. She's almost that minor vampire, bless her. I don't know how this is going up for her. Um, maybe it is when she like tries her powers and stuff like that, because that did seem to go up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Jory Augustine is now a minor vampire. She has started the ascent to the unhallowed rank of Grand Master Vampire. Keep using powers, researching vampires, and talking to other vampires to earn more vampire experience. So that's awesome. Um, so she's obviously got these unlockables right now. Uh, she also does need to take on a weakness. We could go for a withered stomach, a guilty drinker, which I'm gonna go for. Um, yes, we are gonna go for a guilty drinker. Uh, she only has like two points to play with though. And I kind of don't want her to have like any of these. I kind of want her to be quite charming, to be honest. Um, Cause she's not really gonna turn anyone. 
I feel like because she's a good one, she's not really gonna put a lot of these powers to use, so her things might actually just add up. But we will take a weakness. Um, yeah, so now she is a guilty drinker. Too much empathy for the prey means Jory will become stressed when drinking from unwilling prey. Oh, she's so sweet. Should we go try and make some food? Um, let's serve some lunch. We are gonna go for... Oh, uh, actually, we'll just cook. Can we make a plasma fruit? No? Faux BLT. Oh, that's vegetarian. Why can we not go for the plasma one? Do we need to be a better cook for that? I thought it was like on one. Cook. Can you make it? Oh, it must be higher level. Okay, so she can make it. So we're going to give her a plasma fruit. There you go. And then she's going to make it. It must be when you unlock the vampire lore. So we are going to cook. Um, plasma fruit salad. We'll make a party size. Go for it. So she's going to go make that whilst Jory's still going to try and make a good impression on Vlad. Um, let's share vampire knowledge with him. Talk about our dreams. I feel like it's definitely going to be tense between these two. I kind of don't want it to be, but with him being the evil sim and her being a good sim, it's just going to happen. Like, I do want him to be quite accepting of Jory because I feel like he wants whatever Persephone needs to be happy. Because, like I said, he is like father figure to her. So he's going to really enjoy that she's in love and she's finally found the one and they're having a baby and her whole future is coming together. So I definitely want them to be friendly, at least on good terms. Um, but there we go. He's trying back to her. So he's not like going crazy at her, which is good. We just can't bring up world peace or anything like that. How's the plasma food uh, cooking coming along? There we go. We made it. Um, why don't you call everyone to the meal? Uh, call to meal. Oh, she's she's not feeling too good, bless her. What weaknesses does she have? Oh, she has the withered stomach. She's going to vomit. Uh-oh, she's going to vomit. She also has six power points to play with. But again, I don't really know what to go for for her. Um... What's this? Vampiric slumber. Um, Become stronger in the night. Persephone will be able to wield more powers, will learn skills faster, will tire less quickly, and will be happier when the moon is out. I think I kind of just want to save hers for a little bit because I haven't fully decided which way I want to go with her. So I'm just going to wait. I like how they like chant every time they turn into a bat. It makes me laugh. We are going to bat woohoo. Loads of you were telling me that obviously because now that Jory can turn into a bat, they can now do the bat woohoo, which I definitely want to explore um, because I haven't yet and I can think it's really cool for now. Um, but we will definitely be doing that. We might even do that when we go home in this part. We might explore the bat woohoo a little bit. Right, let's get some... Uh, oh, there we go. He needs to vomit. We're going to need to vomit any second. Oh god, everyone's gonna be sick. Oh, 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 he vomited. Oh no. Gross. Absolutely disgusting. We're gonna offer advice on vampire life. Try and at least get a little bit of a conversation going. She is gonna need to vomit any second. But at least she can, like, fly there. It'll save her some embarrassment. She'll be able to make it to the toilet on time. If you regret some of the choices you made, legend had it there is a special potion one can brew to reconfigure your vampire powers and weaknesses. So that's pretty cool. You can get that uh, drink and reconfigure all of your vampire things. But how? when is it that she can get the super speed one? Oh, okay, so it's the next level, which she is almost at. We just need to kind of, like, keep on uh, talking about vampires and stuff. Why are you both standing up? Oh, she doesn't want to eat anymore, which is fair enough. Oh, we need to become better friends with Vlad. Definitely. Discuss plasma flavors. Um, ask him about his career. I want to become better friends with him, because I didn't realize these two weren't, like, oh, he really doesn't want to speak to us. Is he just in a bad mood? Uh, 
Quimmer. He must just be in a bad mood. He's literally not having any of it. I think it's because he's uncomfortable. Oh, Vlad, this isn't going well. No, we're like losing all our relationship with him. Okay, we're just going to stop this conversation. He's really not feeling us. Go, go play your thing or whatever you want, your organ. Oh, she's going to go vomit. Oh, he's going to go vomit. Vlad, I call this toilet. You're going to have to go upstairs, buddy. No, I call this toilet. I already vomited in it. Okay, so they both just vomited, which is awful. However, she also says delicious vampire dish. Plasma fruit cut up. I don't understand. Like, yes, she has a weak stomach to human food, but I feel like humans wouldn't eat a plasma fruit salad. I don't know. It's weird to me. Like, I feel like, like the moodlet says, that's a vampire dish. So I don't get why it affects the withered stomach. Like, I kind of do, because yes, it is technically human food, because she made it, it's not blood, but it's still plasma. So I don't really understand it, because it literally says there, delicious vampire dish. And quite clearly, it isn't a vampire dish, because it makes everyone ill. But she doesn't have the bad stomach one, so she can still eat it. She can still eat human food as of now. Oh, okay, that's cool. The game actually tells you uh, where you are up to in the lifetime wishes. So it says successfully resisted drinking deeply for two days. So she still has like three days to go. Um, but it's cool that it lets you know. So what is she on right now? Let's check it out. Um, so yeah, she has three days to go, like I said. Uh, grow plasma fruit, stock up on plasma packs, and do what you can to keep from feeding deeply on sims. So basically we just have to- why is my nose so itchy? We just have to keep her, um, her thirst up so she just doesn't randomly attack a sim. Because I wouldn't have her drink deeply, I'd at least have her, like, ask someone for permission. Um, but that's only when she's, like, super thirsty, uh, where the plasma packs just aren't doing enough to keep her satisfied. But right now I'm having her work on her fishing skills so she can definitely get better at making plasma packs. And she also has a ton of plasma fruit in her inventory, so... That's a good thing. Considering Vlad, oh, he might be in a better mood now. Should we try and talk to him? Let's make a vampire pun. Uh, just cause neighborhood changes. Yeah, there we go. He's feeling very inspired. So hopefully he'll uh, be a little bit more receptive to our friendly interactions. Come on. You know you want to be cool, Vlad. You know you want to be cool with me. Uh, get to know him a bit more. Tell him a knock knock joke. Um, we can't really share vampire knowledge or anything because I feel like he feels like that's a bit degrading. Um, so we're just gonna like keep on complimenting him and get to know him and stuff like that. We aren't we aren't gonna hug him. I feel like he's he's one for personal space and boundaries. He definitely wouldn't want to hug off a random person just yet. You have to be at least really good friends to be able to hug Vlad. He lives on this scary castle hill all alone. He definitely doesn't like to be surrounded by people, so we're gonna we're gonna stay away from such Oh, that's why he's constantly playing that. Because he's a music lover. That makes more sense. Because he's always playing the organ. We're actually going to request some vampiric training of him. Uh, get her up to a master vampire, hopefully. So that we can get the super speed run. Um, and we definitely need to turn those people. I'll probably do that in the next part, actually. Um, but she's also gonna have a baby fairly soon, which is crazy. There we go. We ranked up to master vampire But we have to choose another weakness now as well, which is so annoying Insatiable thirst. Persephone gets thirstier more quickly uh, Day phobia um, Sleep of the undead only able to sleep in coffins sloppy drinker <sighs> thin-skinned Oh, I don't know what to go for now. This is hard, man. Oh, what do I go for? What does she already have? She has one out of two. Nightmarish sleep. Power gain is reduced while sleeping. Haunted by nightmares that terrorize even the immortal undead. I feel like that's a good one for her to have, though, because it kind of fits her storyline. So I think I'm going to go for that one, because I feel like she's had a very... Although we haven't gone into much detail of it, I feel like she had a very dramatic turning and 
still has nightmares about it and stuff like that. So I I think that fits in well with her storyline. So that's what we're going to go for. Um, gain resistance to the harmful effects of sunlight. Uh, deprive needs, deplete the needs of other sims. Uh, odorless, hygiene doesn't decrease. Dampened emotions, become more resistant to emotion changes. So we're going to go for the super speed and then we're going to come get that one as well. Because we can! Boom. So she is now a master vampire, which is awesome. Look at her. She was just playing this. <laughs> um, but I think we're going to go home and do that bat woohoo. Because... Oh, we're still, he's still mentoring us, so I'm not just going to walk out on him just yet because I feel like he probably would slay me if I uh, walked out in between a lesson. <laughs> he's a scary professor, okay? He's definitely a scary teacher. But there we go, he's finished now. So uh, let's travel back to our home with the girls and get a little saucy. Here we go, we're traveling back with Jory. I wonder if the, uh, the trainers turned yet he won't have yet i think it takes at least like two days for someone to turn into a vampire um so once those two days have passed we'll invite him around to our house i can't remember who else we turned i think it was paolo i think emilio turned paolo i definitely want to look back on the gallery under the tag and uh see other creations that you guys have made um but let's fly here as a bat and let's go here um, Emilio, you are gonna, like, go upstairs or something. Whilst we are going to woohoo as bats. I want to see this. I've been excited. I actually didn't know this was a thing. I knew that the coffin woohoo was, but I didn't know about bats. So I really want to see this. Okay, so they make out as usual. Oh my goodness, Emilio's, like, right there. Oh, that's cute. They like tumble around together. Con supercent what? Con I don't even know what that says. Kyra I can't say that. Woohooing as bats. Who knew bats were so romantic? She has it as well. That's so funny. I love that. That's a really cool little woohoo action. Oh, they're so cute together. I swear, these two are such goals for me. Like, I love them so much. They're just adorable. Look, I'm not even doing anything and they are so flirty. I just can't. They are all round goals and I freaking love them. I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date and get some dinner at the Gothic House restaurant? <gasps> oh my goodness. We're going to agree. Let's go on a date. I mean, I'm fairly sure I'm going to end this part soon. But we're going to go and see what Lilith has on offer. Also, she's in her dark form, which I kind of like. I feel like Emilio is slowly turning her over to the dark side. Like, usually she would always be in her human form. But right now she's in her vampire form, which is, it's kind of funny to me. It's, it's, I like it. Right, um, let's go, uh, should we scare her? I feel like she'd like that though. Whoa, she is ripped, man. Oh my god, she has like big angel wings on her back. She's badass, man. I always thought that they were like the like really good family and like only drank from animals and stuff. But she's got like these massive wings on her back, which I have never seen before. She's actually really freaking cool. Um, we're going to brood about being right. a vampire. These two are actually getting closer, which I didn't think they would, but they definitely are. I kind of like them together. Um, let's go request a table then. Why not? Oh look, Taylor Swift's here. Literally Taylor Swift though. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go uh, request a table. Oh yeah, this is where the vampire waitress works. Okay, so we're on a date with Lilith. These two are getting on way better than I expected them to. Also, a lot of you in the Vampire Fight Club part were saying that you guys ship them like super hard. They're actually really cute. The more time I spend with them together, 
I feel like they fit. Like, I never thought Emilio would be one to uh, date someone or try and find love, but they actually get on very well together. Let's make a vampire pun and... Uh, should we exchange numbers and flirt with her a little bit? Let's do it. What kind of books do vampires like to read? Something they can really sink their teeth into. Oh my goodness, so original. I mean, everyone used that pun when this uh, this game pack was coming out. Everyone's like, I can't wait to sink my teeth into vampires. So funny. I mean, this is the Sims community is just the most hilarious. But guys, I am going to end this part here. We're going to kind of leave these two... Uh, to get up to their own devices. So I hope you all enjoyed this part. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave all of your comments and suggestions down below. I have already asked you guys for name suggestions. So I will go back and check those out before the next part because I feel like she's going to give birth. I think she's actually in her third trimester. So she's probably going to give birth in the next part. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.